What up you guys, welcome back to Feral Publications YouTube channel. This channel talk about zines and DIY publishing. And not always, but quite a bit of times we talk about the creative process, the creative struggle. And I had something happen to me not too long ago that I just haven't got around to talking about. But I think it's something that we all deal with and it's something I want to talk about. So let's go ahead and do that. So basically what I want to talk about is I was working on a script, a uh, screenplay. I was working on two actually, but one in particular... I was working on, it was fun, exciting, I was having a damn good time writing it, and some of the people in my inner circle, my wife, saw a movie that was very similar to the premise of my story. And I think this is something that as creators, we all kind of deal with, where like you have this idea and you're fucking excited about it, your assumption is like, man, I've never seen this done before, and then you find something that's very similar to that, and you're just kind of like... But do not be discouraged is basically the point of this video. Do not as well think that everything is plagiarism or that everything, if someone else has done it, you cannot touch anything like it. I forget what it is, but I think that they say there's 10 different stories that we retell in different ways. Well, let's find out. Hold on. Okay, Google. Here's some information for different types of stories. Here's a summary from the website adweek.com. Overcoming the monster. Rebirth. Quest, Journey and Return, Rags to Riches, Tragedy, and Comedy. So, it's not even 10. It's seven different types of stories that we're all retelling over and over again. But predominantly, that is the core story that you kind of tell. And you tell it very differently. And sometimes it's the structure. Sometimes it's the characters. And, and sometimes it's a mixture of it all, right? You have to really analyze and look at it like, what are you doing and why are you doing it? Right? Like, what is the intent of this story? And, and I think that is more important than, for instance, going back to the example of my screenplay that I'm, I'm talking about right now, the premise is very similar. Without a doubt, the premise uh, to the story that I'm working on versus the one that my wife showed me, very similar. But it's only the premise that's similar. Because even the tone of the film is very different. Uh, that film has less humor than the one that I'm working on. After the first act of my story versus the movie, they literally go different trajectories and they play out differently. And as well, the structure of my story is completely different than the structure of this other story. And so instead of focusing and, and overthinking the similarities, I have to just look at it like I'm doing my rendition of this story. In the end of the day, it goes back to this point of like, a lot of artists will draw a landscape. But we want to see how each artist draws the landscape. And like this shit is bound to happen. When you think about how many people are on the fucking planet. Which I'm not even sure. Hold on. Okay Google. How many human beings are there on planet Earth? 7 billion 800 million people. According to Wikipedia. In demographics. The world population is the total number of humans currently living. And was estimated to have reached 7 billion 800 million people as of March 2020. So there is 7 point eight billion people on this planet the idea that there won't be some ideas that overlap is just crazy man so don't overthink that shit man i guess that's kind of like the moral of this story of like like just go make art man like don't fucking worry about this shit don't overthink shit uh but i will say this if there is something similar to yours you do want to digest that content you want to watch it you want to read it because like i said if it's already been done, then what's the fun in doing it? You know what I mean? The idea is like, am I doing anything different or did this person already do it justice? I'm not a big fan of remakes because usually they are legitimately just remaking that film. Very rarely do they add anything more to the nuances of that world. Very rarely. And that's kind of why I'm not a big fan of the remakes. And it's the same thing with any movie. Like, if it's already been done, then enjoy it and move on. But like, if it hasn't been done or if there's something more that you're gonna add to it, if it's a different perspective, if it's trying to get the whole 360 degree view of this one topic, this one premise, then go and do that shit. What is the right answer to this? And there probably isn't a right answer, but I'd love to see what you guys think about this shit. Uh, especially for the filmmakers that are part of the community. Let me know, what do you guys think about this topic, man? Uh, beyond that, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Lights.